Maybe, maybe it's a magic wishing bottle. <laughs> oh, that's Bebopolipolis. That's stupendous. Uh, what's a magic wishing bottle? Hmm. Seems like I have a story about a magic wishing bottle, if you'd care to give a listen. I'm ready for it. Me too. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's see here. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Josh who lived in a shack by the ocean. Every day, Josh would walk up and down the beach looking for items that had washed ashore. An old shoe here, a piece of wood there. Then one particular day, Josh found an old bottle buried in the sand. And when he went to wipe the sand away from it, a genie appeared before his eyes. What's a genie? Yeah. A genie is someone who grants three wishes to whoever lets him out of his bottle. Oh. oh, okay. So, the grateful genie offered Josh his three wishes. Well, Josh spent that entire night thinking about what he might wish for. He thought, should I wish for a house? Or a best friend? Or maybe a big pot of gold? Those would be good wishes. Indeed they would, Mermy. So the next day, Josh went back to the beach with his bottle, ready to make a wish. There on the beach, Josh met an old woman who could barely walk. And then he thought, I don't need a new house. I could use one of my wishes to help that old woman instead. Josh rubbed his bottle and wished, and he felt happy for what he had done. Josh continued walking along the beach, until he came upon a little girl who was so shy she wouldn't even talk. Josh thought, I don't need a best friend. The world is full of friends. I could use one of my wishes to help this little girl. So he made his second wish for the little girl and continued on his way. Down by the water, Josh discovered a barking dog caught in a trap. Josh tried to free the dog, but it was no use. Josh thought, even if I don't have a new house, or a best friend, I'm still happy, and freeing this dog will bring me more happiness indeed, more than any amount of gold. So Josh made his third wish, and the dog was free. Josh decided to dig a deep hole to bury the trap where it could never hurt anyone else. Suddenly, Josh struck something hard in the sand, and lo and behold, it was a chest of gold. This must be for me, he said. And then Josh and his new best friend, the dog, took the chest of gold and walked down the beach together toward Josh's home. On the way, they passed the little girl laughing and running happily in the sand. She called out to Josh with her new voice, Thank you, kind sir, for my wish come true. I will forever speak good things and wish happiness for you. Then Josh saw the old woman who was walking into town to visit her new grandson. She said, Thank you, young man. For your deed was rare. The strength in my heart comes from knowing you care. And when Josh and his new doggy friend reached Josh's humble shack, it was indeed the perfect home for them, with everything they needed, forever and ever. So all of Josh's wishes came true without him even making them. Right you are, Mermy. You're a very clever merkid. <laughs> wow! So this could be a magic wishing bottle with a genie inside. That it could, Monkey Bee. So I could rub it and a genie could come out and grant me three wishes? That you could, Monkey Bee. That's great! That's fantabulous! That's incredible! Oh, but there's just one problem. What's that, Monkey Bee? I wish I knew what to wish for. <gasps> Oops! Uh, just kidding, Mr. Genie. <laughs>